Yeah, man, see all praises and all. And see how? Go and share me, share me, share me, share me, share me. And double honors to the apostles today, let's have a favorite story. Go back to the room. And shallow warm to all the brothers out here. You are pushing this shoot in our sincerity. I know all honesty. Yeah, this is a brother from James to make a camp. Yashamai. Kazak. I war. I don't want to do um, you know, a lesson on um, the famine and the word because you know we actually are living in a time, you know, the famine and the word, you know, are come to pass in full effect. Right now we see the moves that we are making right now, in order for basically that prophecy come to pass. Alright. Yeah, go on, brother. Alright, we're gonna yeah. What? Um, famine. So like that. Amos 8 and verse um, 11 it says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, um, saith Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, Gone. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Gone. So, what of what? Hearing the word of the Lord. So, people are going to try to find you know, the, us you know, on the highways and byways. I'm going to try to find our videos you know, on the internet because you know, they're going to remove us from our. You know the internet. When we see them things that take place, you know they're gonna basically make them move soon, right? So this is a prophecy. We get ready to take place in full effect of hearing this truth, the word, where the men on the highways and the byways are pushed. Can't you, brother? Sorry, sir. And they from they shall wander from sea to sea Go and on. from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the sorry to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. So they might search, they might try to find us, you know, and they're not going to basically find us. If, a lot of them, you know, if they do find us, then they're not going to tell them nothing. All those scriptures speak about the 11th hour. So you have certain men that are coming, you know, the last. God, the scriptures actually speak about it. But people are going to need answers, and they're not going to basically even find us to give them answers. As you use um, the movie, for example, you know, he saw them predictive programming, you know, leave the world behind, you know, with it, um, you know, so called wicked white man, you know, and load up him yeah. in van back with water, and the woman saw him okay. and said, He knew what I go on before, said, so I prepare. Right? And things happen sudden, and they never know. Because, you know, information is very important, well, especially in the time when chaos, you know, a certain, certain thing can take place. Because, you know, people are going to bug out, and I don't know what this guy kind of do. Because things are happening, and they don't know what. You know what basically I take place, there's something sudden. Right? Go on, brother. You finish? It's um, Ezekiel 7 and verse 25. It says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Man. Mischief shall be upon shall mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Yes, yeah, people say, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace. Right? But there shall be no peace because we're in the time of peace. More and more. As the day go by, you know, it's obvious that we don't in a time of peace, we don't in a time of war. Scripture says, there is a time right. and a season for everything and the heavens. And without a doubt, we can still be in a time of the third world's war. Always been taking place, you know, even what taking place, you know, in, in the Middle East right now. Russia, you know, Ukraine, you have right. the, one of the main prophecies we've been waiting for, prophecy come to pass years now. Right, the least of the flock what the scriptures speak about. Right, these small hats are these 1940 you know, make a move on Iran, which is basically known as Persia in the scripture in Ezekiel 38. Right? They're gonna lead to, you know, total, you know, chaos or, or war, or World War III. Because if I say the least of the flock, I'm gonna draw them out, draw them out now. Draw America out in a full fledged war in Russia. That's also a prophecy. Right? My brother. He says, Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, none. But the law shall perish from the priests and the council from the, from the ancient. Can't. So, exactly, mm -hmm. that's what's going to take place. Right? Mischief going to be upon mischief. Disasters, you mean disasters upon disasters. Things are happen and people lose it. People don't know what to do or what to turn to. So they're going to try to seek a vision of the prophet. They're going to try to find the prophets, as I mentioned yeah, earlier. Yeah, That's well. what basically going to take place. Yeah. So now, you know, to the regular Jake, you know, we had to, you know, see him, you know, like foolish to them. But by the time they come, they're going to need answers. Yeah. Right? Well, brother, you can get the article now. Um, this is the, um, the article from Newsweek. Um, 
May 2nd, 2024. It says Republicans voting for a bill that could make viable illegal outrage. Outrage. MAGA. It says, um, it says a MAGA conservative voice outrage at congressional Republicans voting that the anti the anti sem yeah um, awareness act over concern it could make the Bible illegal yeah because the things them will speak from the Bible and so so forth and if, you, if they're going to even the men and the highways and the byways mainly yeah us right the scripture tell us um we can't talk brother um yeah. Um, bring it out, bring out on um, Revelation um, 11 and 11. The great leaders fell upon them. Yeah, you want a scripture? So, Revelation 11 and verse 11. Huh? It says, And after three days and a half, yeah. the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them. Yes, the scripture says, After three days and a half, you know, after you know, 350 years. Right from uh, um, 1619 to uh, 19, uh, 1969. Yeah, some, yeah. Right, right. When yeah. basically starting to have a babies, when the truth start to come back, you know, or, or, and when people start to uh, learn the truth all over from, from, from them time, because going back during the time of slavery, we lose everything. Right, he saw he done retaught us, you know, theme way. Right, he planted and Christianity and all the madness of people, you know, believing right now. We start going back to the time of slavery. We might so called really kill us. So she said, after three days and a half, the spirit of life are going to enter into them. So we are going to receive the understanding, which is basically life. God. Right? The scripture says in St. John 6, verse 63, say it is a spirit that quicken it. The word quicken means to basically make a life. Right? The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. So receiving but the understanding of the scripture, the Heavenly Father, the Abba Hashem Yeshua, is that to give us back what we actually basically have at one point in time. We'll, we'll lose. Receiving it back right now all over again. As scripture says, Lord, I basically bring it again to mind. Right? Go on, brother. Entered into them and they stood up upon their feet. And they stood upon their feet. And, Go on. And great fear fell upon them. So great fear fell upon them. Fall upon who? Great fear fell upon who? These Edomites, all these nations, great fear fell upon them when they see us coming back to our true path. Because all them, you know, enjoy, you know, we see our, our people and the law. And the scripture tells us, in Lamentation um, 2 and 15, say them wag them heads and his and his them teeth. Say, this is the day they look for. I'm not happy. Bring a scripture there, brother. So when they see us now coming back to our true path, now understanding, you know, who we are as people. And I'm coming back to the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, which is Yahweh the Father and the Hebrew, and Yahweh Shai the Son, right? Them get them basically them get scared because they, they, they want to see us, you know, and, and, and they don't know doing all different types of madness like the like majority of people are doing. So them, they fright, them get frightened to see us standing bold and push us through. Yeah. Regardless if they like us, yes or no. Fine, yes or not. Go on, brother. Uh, this is Lamentations 2 and verse 15. One. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. Clap their hands at who? Oh, people, Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indian. Like right, one? They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem, one. saying, Is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty? One. The joy of the whole earth? Yeah, which is our people because, you know, the scripture tells us that the earth was created for our sake. Right? The chosen people, even the Father. And we depend on the download right now because we go back to the curse or in Deuteronomy 28, right? From the 15th verse right down to the 16th verse. So we are these curses. So we are the law. All these are above us. So this is what MB actually actually have done in mind. Right. I'm actually said. Right, go on. The uh, sorry, okay. All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. Yeah, they're not speaking nothing good about us. Especially so-called Negroes. Go on. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say we are solid there up. Yeah. Certainly this is the day that we look for. This is the day they look for. To see what don't fall. So yep. the benefit of our don't fall. All these nations, especially East Side, which is so called white man. Go on. Go on. We have found, we have seen it. Go on. Right? What's the scripture that you know, brother? 
Um, Revelation? Yeah, man. Revelation 11 again. Revelation 11. 11? Yeah. It's in an end sense. And after three, three and a half. After three days and a half. After three days and a half. The spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them. Yeah. And they stood up on their feet. Always stood up on our feet. Stood up on our feet. Excuse me, I said, in um, Wisdom of Salaman, say, say, um, then shall you write, then shall you write, just man. We're going to ask you to that. We're going to ask you to that. We're going to ask you to that. Read it up. Wisdom of Salaman 5 and 1. Let's bring on them to the chair. It's Wisdom of Salaman 5 verse 1. Says, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness man, before the face of such as afflicted yeah. him. So we are standing bold in the face of them, we are afflicted us. All these nations, especially Esau, Edom, which is so called white man, we are standing boldly. Because the Heavenly Father give us that, that spirit. Right? Go on. Mm. And made no account of his labor. And I made no account of our labor. All the things, in, you know, we even, you know, our people even created our invent. Right. Esau, take it, take it, take it for them. Yeah, take it yeah. for themselves. Right, all the all the things, all the things that people do. For yeah. Esau, I mean, you know, you know, you know basically, see us as nothing. Yeah, no Gun. thanks. Yeah, no no so-called Jamaicans have been yeah. working for reparation for years. Even the former uh, prime minister um, from from England come to Jamaica. Um, uh, 2015, I think David Cameron, and yeah, then they yeah. asked about the whole reparation thing. I must mean, shun that. Yeah, so yeah. then basically they don't care about us. Yeah. And and the prison. Uh, yeah, yeah, prison won't them. give us during the time there. Eh? Prison. Uh, they don't worry nothing. They don't worry nothing. They don't make no account to help man. Because yeah. they're in a return, they want to do, get rid of the planet. We'll be linking kingdom, and they want to get rid of in a return. Exactly. That's what they mean. It says, when they, it says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Gone. And no. shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. And they're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation, our deliverance. That they see how don't fall, right? And they mean oppressing us. They become richer over us, right? And now they're going to see our deliverance, right? They now look for see, we get delivered. They think they're going to always have us and they don't know. But no more and more they say, hey, right? But we actually are saying, I come to pass. A lot of them see it because the years have been speaking certain things to the Spirit and poor the Heavenly Father, and now it has come to pass. So, them get start to get shaky you now. Uh, uh, right? Even from our own people, man. Yeah, even. Yeah, we, even. We, we, we scoff and laugh at the prophets, man. Oh. So, the scripture, I got the scripture, I got a fall upon them and say, then shall they know that there was a prophet among them. Yeah. 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 I'm going to pray. Right. Think, at the strangeness of his salvation. Can. So far beyond all that they look yeah, for. Because when I look for a total difference, something can actually have to take place in, in the near can. future. Yeah. When I talk to these so called churches, plantation and Christianity, a total difference, something from what written in the scripture and what will take place in the near future. Can. Yeah. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of the spirit shall say within themselves, can. This was he whom we had sometimes in the vision. Yeah, and and as a mockery, right? Uh, as a, as a, let's say, out in Jamaica, you know, see us as, you know, a laughing stock when they see us on the street for years. Right. Even, uh, even, even Port Antonio, people hearing us for years, see us on the highways and the highways more and more. Right, right? and they can laugh until, yeah, till they, they, they stop laughing now because it's necessary laughing, they really no. Right. Years ago, they tell us, see us and smack us, and after a while, because they see us on the street, see us on the street, pushing, see us, see us. Mm. They just walk in the street and ignore us. Right, so all these things are part of, are part of come with being in this shoot. Can, can. And what? Sometimes in division and a proverb of reproach. All kind of name. We get called by all kind of name. <laughs> it says, We fools are counted his life's madness and his end to be without honor. How is he, mom, how is he numbered among the children of Yahweh and his lot is among the saints? Can. Yeah. Can I go back to the yard? It says, um, back to the article, it says, it says Congress on Wednesday um, passed the bill which would require the Department of Education to use the international H-O-L-O-C-A-U-S-D. Yeah, if you know what that means, mm -hmm. you know what I'm calling it out. You know what I'm sensitized yeah. to them now. 
Remembrance Alliance in working um, working definition of and you know yeah. them anti them yeah. when enforcing anti discrimination laws it comes as colleges across the United States have seen pro Palestinian protests that critics say at times have allegedly um, veered into that anti thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, you know, hey, the, thing, the, thing, the thing that gets sticky, you know, certain things you can't say anymore, man. Yeah, because more and more, yeah, 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 and this really, this show you who really have the power. And who in control, we can speak right. against. So who yeah, really chew yeah, in authority. Who yeah. run things, who run the world. We yeah. cannot speak in against. Gun. He says, um, he says here, he says the bill due by partisan criticism with both Democrats and Republicans voting against it. Critics argued that the bill, if signed into law, um, stifles free speech and that is protected by the US Constitution and is overly broad in its definition of anti that you know pointing to the definition including claiming that the existence of of a state of yes um, I S R A E L <laughs> Is a, is, a, is, a, is a racist endeavor. Zin? So you say, that says that the bill of signing into law is style for free speech. Zin? You can't say this, you can't say that. See, right now we can't even say certain things on the internet. Yeah, because, no. it, because guess what? And them control the media. Zin? And them control the media. They just say certain things and then they deem it and then they see and say it. With, 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 and you have a have a video take down. See? This two of you yeah. society. Gun. How with the Arwellian society. Gun. You know, going back to the go. Gun. 84. Yeah. Yes. That's it, man. He says. Yeah, he says, he says some he says some conservatives are taking issue with the bill over the I I I H R A definition of anti that including claims that J-O-W-S killing yes see a man by the cross are, are blood li libel arguing that it it could mean that parts of the Bible would now become illegal see if, if, you, if you call them names, say them them do this to the pe the people that we, we Lord and Savior, yeah. I call say that name do it to the Lord and Savior, you know. It, it, it them basically can take it down. Man. It's a part of the Bible. Eh? I go so you know them I go remove. Hey, the scripture, the scripture says if you, you add but, or take away. <laughs> <laughs> this, it's a this book gonna come up for you. <laughs> this this also shows that the money is not about the Bible. Well, can. Them is not them is not the true, you know, ones that yeah. the most I um deal with, you know, because if them was if it was they was the people that the Bible that talked about, then more than likely them would have own up to it. Can. You see me? We can say it. We can own up to it and say yes our people, people do it. Do the deed. Can. You see me? But the fact that them call themselves that, but when them are get, you know, accused, or when when that I get shined, you know, get light, say oh, I them kill them own lord and savior, or whatever, you know what I mean? Why them are shy away from it? You see me? Why you give? Why people? Why you make it um, illegal to say that when that in our know, history, Can. if we no claim to be, you know, those people. Can. Can. No, no, is they, they know, they actually know that they still. Yeah, some of them know that they are not the truth. Yeah. You know, children. Yeah. 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 The Hebrews 4 and 12 says, For the word of, of, of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. Yeah. It's kind of the spirit. Yeah. 
piercing even to the dividing asunder, asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Right. Yes. The words cut you straight. Straight up. So when they hear the word, the word are the thing where them fear men. Yeah, the truth make them tremble. <laughs> See? Yeah. Hey, you can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Uh, Articulate uh, uh, 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 13. Alright, sir. Alright. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 13 and verse 8. So far, we can do nothing against the truth, but for, for the, the truth. truth. So you say, I can do nothing against the truth, yeah. Right? No matter when do I am basically even you know stop us or take from our videos. I'm a fulfilled prophecy because if I don't tell us tell us that these things are gonna take place. Can. And some of us were in this truth, so people tell us also what will take place in the near future. Right, John and Ellen and Patmos say so, you know, souls of the men that will be headed for the word of the Heavenly Father. You know, give in and receive Esa Idom, you know, digital device. And you see him. I go brother. That they said this man is accused of breaching. Mm -hmm. like, he like to accuse, but he don't like when accusation come up against him. Right. <laughs> yeah? I'm sure he said he's a wicked man. So that's the time. Yeah? Let me go ask it says, um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 3 says, Let no man deceive, deceive you by any means, for that they shall not come except they come a falling away Gun. first. How did fall away as a, as a people or as a nation? First and that man of sin be revealed. I know when I turn when the man of sin are revealed, without a doubt. Can. Right? See all the signs. It's very, very it's clear right now if you have your eyes to see. Yeah, Who's the man of sin? Without a doubt, the so called white man. That's why we pass life upon the road of God. He's the man of sin. All the things we're pushing in the earth right now. Show you that. Yeah. This man is the man of sin. Everything that is wrong, put as right. What is yeah. right, put as wrong. So without a doubt, you can say this man is the man of sin. So you can say man of sin is going to reveal in our time. So no man reveal. You want to ask them, you want to ask God out of everything, man. Right. <laughs> I know, you see, yeah. you're to do. The man of Bible. sin be revealed. Bible. The what? son of perdition. The son of destruction. destruction. That's what basically they believe in destruction, death and destruction. And who oppose it and exalt himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Right. That a free mindset. And even through him, 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 him AI system where I push right now. See? He must show he must show he must show him he must show a God like character. Man. All know like the, like every father. Yeah. Right? Do so every single thing we are do. Yeah. He says remember ye not that when I I was yet with you I told you these things. And now he know that with we what with all that that the right that the that, that he, he might be revealed in his time. Right. And when I'm time, no one might get revealed. Yeah, can I get, get revealed before he get destroyed? Before he saw you know, um, get destroyed, they want to get revealed. Can. Before they're revealing, so the destruction, the death and destruction is coming very rapidly right now. Right. Says, like the height be years. Can. In, in um, Jeremiah, I think of 49 and 10. So, uh, I'm not talking about it. We're going to ask you to try it. I'm going to keep it in the Because they can't hide no more. We don't have time when they live in the Father and reveal them. The skipper said nothing in secret. We don't come open. So, to Lord, the Lord, the house shy. Right? The man of all people ignore the cards. You know, Jesus, you know, said going back 2,000 years ago. He said, no, everything I come to the forefront. I come to the open now. Where they are dark, I come to the light. All right, so Jeremiah 49 and 10. But I have made Esau bear. Yeah. Who's Esau? So can I, Esau, you know, that's, that's a true biblical name. But I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. Yeah, he can't hide no more. Because even if I reveal him, right? Yeah. Expose him right now. And they're trying now to get biblically. Stop the truth. Right, stop us from pushing the truth. Mm. Right, what? It says, it says, for the mysteries of iniquity do it already work. 
only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Yeah, now we don't turn out every fire, gonna take him out of the way, remove him from out of power altogether. Yeah, okay. Build up. Yeah, get in time. Come tear him down now. You must say, time and chance are better to them all. In getting time, now we come into the end of them time now. Can. So we're gonna get root up. We need to see his hand. Plucked it up. Right? Okay. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume to the spirit of his mouth first by the prophets. Yeah. Yeah, come call him out. Dirty and then words. Chariots. Yeah. yeah. It's more, it's more, it's more, it's more, it's more the prophets them speak, the more the prophecies then come to pass. See? The more you see the destruction of Babylon, the more you see the destruction of the fall of the so called white man kingdom. Yeah? See? And shall destroy, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yes. Uh, this uh, Revelation 2 and 10 is a fear, none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yeah, we're not supposed to fear what these men are going to do unto us. Right, the scripture says in, in Matthew, Matthew 10, the Lord said, Yeah, Lord, you how shall I go back 2000 years ago? Say, Fear not him who can destroy the body. Right, and not be able to touch the soul. I'm not talking bring it up, brother. Bring it up. So we quote it around, we'll just bring out the scripture. Then. Right? Matthew 10 and verse 26 or 28, one of the two. Matthew 10 and verse 28 or 26, one of the two. Matthew 10 and 26, it says, fear, fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing. Right there. Uh, um, 28. Yeah, 28. Matthew 10 and verse 28, it says, and fear not them, which kill the body. So if I say fear that they make sure the body, so we're not supposed to fear what Esau eat them out. Right? What? Then it says, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. You can't do nothing more than that. Right? Can't. It's just basically kill the body, I kill the can't. flesh. You but can't go no further than that. Can't. What? But rather fear but, him. But rather, who is supposed to fear? But rather fear him, which is the heavenly father, Yahweh. True name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. Right? Then? He may supposed to fear that Esau yeah. either because he may want in control of these men. Skip yeah. I say, um, men are the heavenly father hand. So they have yeah. heavenly father hand on the left hand side. So they can do nothing that the heavenly father no, no, no command them to do. Right? Uh, because he's in control. Go on. I always consider that I say the, the most of a man or a woman. The most of the gender neutral. Then? Then? You see, the scripture says, fear him. Yeah. <laughs> the scripture says, he's a man which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Man. Yeah. You can put in a, you know, in a jacked up body, mm -hmm. like a lot of people, you know, them, or, or, or them, you know, Alive, them born. Yeah. You can't help yourself, you know, if I get feed, if I be, if I be a baby days till them die, yeah. right? You can't put in any type of, you know, body. They suffer years. Can. He was a suffer straight. Suppose I fear him. Right, go on, brother. Um, verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Yeah, the devil will cast some of us into prison. So I come to the prophet, the prophet say my fool or disciples. Some of us are going to get brought to prison to this truth. The part of the part of come with this truth. Right? right? That he may be tried. So we're gonna get proven, tested. Yeah. Every single one of us is gonna get tested in, in, in time to come. So if I say every man works, but then built up and I get tried. Yeah. It's wood, precious stone, or stubble. Right? So all of us feet are gonna get tested at limit. Go on, brother. And he shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, yeah, and so I will both. give thee a crown yeah. of life. And the key thing is you're supposed to be faithful no matter where I forgot you. I will be faithful if I am in debt. Okay. You see what I say? The Lord will give us a crown of life if okay. we endure until the end. So the key thing right. is to endure. Okay. After endure, what to start? Right? You see what I say? Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. Right? So that, I say all praises and honor unto Yahweh, Barashim, Yahushim, Barashim, Bukhah, Kodash. And double honors to the apostles, to the elders of Great Men's Stone. Shalom to all the brothers and out there, and shalom to the few sisters. You have soon gone to leave Babylon. Shalom. shalom. shalom.